Hi everybody, 860 Cologne here with another fragrance review. This time, I'm going to be looking at Michael Kors for Men. Michael Kors for Men is an eau de toilette released in 2014. Here's what they say about it. An essential luxury for the man on the move, combining the rugged yet refined scent of patchouli and suede with signature spices to evoke a luxurious freshness. Here are the notes of this fragrance. The top, we have bergamot, coriander, star anise, black pepper, thyme, and elemi. The heart has sage, incense, and suede. In the base, there's patchouli, sandalwood, musk, and sleek woods. The nose of this fragrance is Harry Fremont, or Harry Fremont, who has also brought us the original Michael for Men by Michael Kors, Power by 50 Cent, CK1 with Alberto Morias, and he combined with Jacques Cavalier for Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, and Harry Fremont is the only nose that I can find tied to Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. Here's a quote by Michael Kors, and I'll try to do my best Michael Kors impersonation. It seems like men's fragrances are either a citrus bomb or pal patchouli. This is a hybrid. Hybrid is my favorite word. It's a sexy but unexpected scent. I like Michael Kors. He just got an interesting way of speaking. Now, sexy but unexpected. Unexpected, yes. Out of the bottle, I get pepper and B.O. Not in a good way. That's body odor. After a few minutes, it mellows out, but never goes anywhere I really like. The good? Well, it's not a typical copycat designer release. I will give them much credit for that. And here ends the good about this fragrance from me. The bad. Pepper and B.O. I like pepper. I like many fragrances that have pepper. This may conjure up some memories of Marc Jacobs' Bang, which I liked, but there is no incense and not many redeeming qualities to this for my nose, and I did get a lot of compliments and a lot of niceties out of Marc Jacobs' Bang. Another bad thing, bad thing, that might be a good thing for this one is terrible performance. I get maybe an hour or two at the very most until I have to start hunting for it, which is probably good. This has a complete line released with it. The 4 ounce bottle is going to be $78. 2.5 ounce is 62. The 4.2 ounce aftershave splash is 45. A 5 ounce aftershave balm is also 45. And the 5 ounce shower gel is 45. Is it worth the money? No. Although it's priced a little cheaper than most other designer fragrances of that size, I really would not even pick this up for $15 at TJ Maxx, which is where I predict this will be by Christmas. I might pay five, seven bucks for it just to spray it for people to see if they can smell the pepper and B.O. Now, I, I don't care too much about presentation. I don't wear the bottle, I wear the fragrance. But this one is very minimalistic, almost to a fault. In the display case, it's hard to even recognize what this is because the writing is so small and covered up usually by the display case edges and the box is not really that exciting. Neither is the bottle with this kind of a cheap plastic top with this marbleized, dark marbleized plastic. Wasn't really much of a fan. I forced myself to wear this three times, and although it's not a scrubber, it came close. But let me know what you think. Um, I'm sure there are going to be people who like this, but I do feel they will be in the minority. Not wrong, just in the minority. So that's Michael Kors for Men. 
Comment down below and with your thoughts and suggestions or comments. And please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you soon.